Well, we are about three weeks from the 2018 election, and that means the next two weeks are very busy for townships all over the state. They need to verify that all systems are a go for fair and impartial results. Paula Tutman in Washington Township this afternoon, where today is a test day for voting machines. A very important day, Paula. It is a very important day, and I want you to take a look at this bank of machines. As you can see, they are on, but they are not active. In fact, they're still going through their paces, being put through some very rigorous tests to get ready for what's expected to be one heck of a turnout for midterm. For many, it is a magical mystery. On Election Day, they show up, they vote, that's it. Well, the poll workers probably set up the machines, and... Um... When we vote, the ballot goes directly in and you kind of don't know. You kind of don't know. Do I kind of don't know, really. <laughs> Very little thought on how the vote is actually secured and safe and reliable. The fact of the matter is Election Day starts well before actual Election Day for municipalities across the state. Happening right now for the next two weeks, if you peek inside your local clerk's office, you'll likely see that the machinery is being set up and tested. Like here in Washington Township, under the watchful and precise eye of Township Clerk Kathy Bashirs. Here are these results. We'll start with the Governor of Wayne State University. Okay, Dunicus, 11. Nicholson, 9. Barnhill, 7. Test ballots with known results are prepared and fed into the machinery. So that helps us know that the programming is correct. It helps us make sure that as a ballot is cast, it is read the proper way. Then part of our process later in the week is that we will actually modem this information to the county, and the county will make sure that they get the correct results. At the end of the test, the results are tallied. If there are any anomalies at all, a different number of ballots, a different outcome than the planned test outcome with the candidates, anything unplanned, it'll show up as a fail. Every race, every office is voted, and we make sure that that vote can be cast and captured. This is basically our preliminary accuracy test. It's how the various clerk's offices confirm the machines and the programs are working, will be in working order election day, and are communicating the proper information in a sealed and secure manner to the county clerk's office. We don't have issues that people talk about um, coming in and trying to um, cheat the system. The system is pretty dynamic and pretty robust. I don't see where that's a di a, okay. an issue that I even encounter. That matches correctly. Okay, the public has a right to know. And in fact, you get to watch some of the testing with Public Accuracy Day. If you don't know where it is in your district, all you have to do is call your local uh, election clerk and they will tell you when they have their Public Accuracy Day, you can actually watch them putting these machines through their paces. And, and Karen, you talk about turnout and what's expected. Here in Washington Township, generally they only get about 2,800 absentee ballots. They're already at 3,400 plus, wow. and we're several weeks away from the midterm. It's going to be a big turnout. It definitely is. All right. Thank you, Paula, for that inside look. We appreciate it.